Hey, so just to explain from a material science perspective, this is a phase diagram. This is the phase diagram for paraffin wax. It's similar, but it's a little bit different, but it's not the exact ingredient, but just to get the general idea. Every material or every system of molecules that forms a material has what's known as this phase diagram where you can plot the temperature over here, temperature, and then you can plot the concentration, how much you have percentage wise, and that is going to give you an idea of when the system will exist as a solid versus a liquid. Now we know when the road peptide balm crystallizes, that's when it's turning into a solid. That's when we get this portion of the graph over here. This solidus line shows when the solution is actually transitioning from solid to solidus to liquidus to liquid. So this little region in between the solidus and the liquidus line, that is when it kind of exists in both states. Now that would be what the actual road peptide solution is because it's grainy. So there's liquid and solid particles. It would be technically in this region. But so essentially what I'm telling you is that at a certain in temperature if the temperature falls down in certain systems things will start to solidify and that's what's happening with the road peptide treatment now this is the ingredient list for the road peptide treatment this is this is majority of the ingredients list there's a couple things that are missing down at the bottom but i don't think they're that important for my general point which is there's not much of a hydrated network there's basically just a blend of different butters and oils I see octododecanol, that's going to be an alcohol that's going to help the solution form together and kind of gel. But other than that, I don't really see anything that is going to provide gelation benefits, right? Maybe this tribenahin, maybe, but like either way. And yeah, it's just very, very waxy. So that's why. The benefit of having something that's going to gel is that it's going to attract water and you're going to have a network of fat molecules and water molecules that form a layer that form your peptide balm. Without those ingredients that create that hydrated network and hold on to water, you're going to have the formula fall out of that liquid suspension because there's no water.